When it comes to ARK, rat holes are essential for survival. So we proudly present our solo, duo, and trio rat hole full base designs on the center. Coming at number 3, this location can be found at 82.2 latitude and 53.7 longitude. And then here it is on the map for you guys. So over in the Redwoods area, there is this massive, kind of like rocky looking structure. Now I do say that there's a lot of these, but this one is a kind of like open kind of cave system sort of thing. And a lot of people don't usually go through here, not, there's not a ton of traffic. Maybe some of the new players just coming to check it out. But if you actually fly up here, there is a pretty cool rat hole that a lot of you guys may have not known about. So anyways, if you come up here, come across these two little floating pillars right here, and then you will be entered with this nice, open, but not too big of a rat hole. Now, I like this rat hole because it has three different stages. This is the first stage, and then if you come up here, most people aren't even gonna look up here, there is a whole nother spot that opens up into a way bigger room. Now, it's not the easiest to build with, but it keeps going up. So you can keep building up vertical and you're gonna have to use pillars, of course. So it's gonna be a little tricky to build in here. But overall, I'd say this is a great route hole for a solo. And then coming up here, you can actually get up there with a grapple, but I'm not gonna do it because it's very difficult. But anyways, this is the full route hole. Pretty nice route hole, but let's get right on to the build. So here's the build, but before we get into this, Let's take a moment to talk about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Zenith. This no wipe 5x is the new official. Zenith offers 4 man tribes with no alliance, ORP, and official turret limit. With over 10 custom made plugins, Zenith guarantees quality of life is the best of any server. Some important features on Zenith would be the auto engrams, times 5 less consumption for items like gasoline, and spy glasses show wild stats on dinos. Zenith is basically just a slightly boosted official server with support and in my opinion is one of the best servers on ARK. Check out these Steam supported servers which start today in the description down below or on the screen now. So coming back into the build, as you can see here we've decided to do two kind of different layers and to keep the base pretty hidden, we only decided to use one more foundation going down. And that's just to make sure that people can't, you know, come up and just like rocket run all your turrets and then get in. So basically, you're greeted with this nice, beautiful death wall for a solo player. This, is, this isn't going to be too terrible to build, especially if you're on a more boosted server. If you're on official, you're probably not going to be able to build in here even in the first place. So I would not recommend doing it. So coming up here, I built a little platform with the heavy and then this platform to where you can use your grapples come up here and then you can use your the ladder to get into the base. It's a little tricky to get into, but once you get into, it's very easy and very simple. Now coming up here, we have 180 forges, two fabricators, two chem benches, two refrigerators, smithy, a bed, heavy turret, a cryo fridge, and that's just all on the first layer. Now let's come up to the second layer. And as you can see, we have four vaults on this layer, one heavy turret, and a refrigerator, two cryo refrigerators, and 12 incubators for hatching some small dinos or big dinos, it's really up to you. And then if you use your grapples and come up here to the third layer, I just decided to put the tech genia up here as most people trying to raid you are not going to find this. Now, of course, you may not be able to use a tech genie if you do not have it unlocked. So I highly recommend using a electrical generator if you do not have the engram for that, but it shouldn't be too terrible to find a good spot to put that. You can put it even behind one of these vaults. But anyways, let's move on to the duo full base design. Now coming at number two, this location can be found at 1.1 latitude and 30.4 longitude. Here it is on the map and up here in this area this is definitely a, a lot lower of a traffic area for uh, most players most people don't even come over here as there's no resources there's literally nothing and no point for a player to be over here and the world barrier is literally right here now what most players don't know about is the rat hole that sits right here now this rat hole is a little bit buggy so please know that it's gonna mess up a little bit coming in here like you might get teleported to the top i'll show you that here in a second but the barriers right there you come inside here it's pretty flat for the most parts has a little bit of an angle but it's still doable to to uh, build with now coming over here over in this wall 
this is the bad wall. Now, as you can see, it has a water glitch and just being in here will teleport you to the very top. I'm surprised I didn't get teleported there. But if you go into that waterfall, it'll teleport you to the top, making as a, a literal tech teleporter for free. I mean, because on official servers, I don't know if it kills you or not, but on unofficial, it's just going to teleport you. So if you're being raided and they have you trapped in, you can just go here and it will teleport you to the top of the map, which is great. So anyways, let's move on to the full base design. So here's the full base design for a duo. Now coming up here, we have some turrets, but of course we wanted to leave it pretty hidden as we don't want players seeing this if they just look off the side of the map. So we left the turrets a little bit farther back in and as you can see, you cannot see them. So we left a pretty basic standard kind of death wall, you know, it, it can be raided, but the, the point of these rat holes are to make sure that people don't find them in the first place. So coming over here, and I know saying that is kind of funny because we, you know, we li we're literally making a video on this. So it's kind of funny how we say, you know, stay hidden and all that. But anyways, as you come inside, you have a nice vault wall, some refrigerators, some preserving bins, a nice good size hatchery, some cry refrigerators, chem benches, fabricators, beds, your tech Jenny, of course, smithy, your indie forges over there by the indie forges. It's a little bit buggy, so I'd be careful and try to keep your distance for as long as you can. Now, if you come over here in this corner, you won't really get teleported, as you can see here. But as soon as you come over there, it teleports you just like that. So I'd be careful, but let's move on to the trio. Now, anyways, coming at number one, this can be found at 41.4 latitude and 30.1 longitude. Then here it is on the map. Now, it is a little tricky. This one is the trio, not the, the uh, solo. So the solo is number three, duo is number two, and the trio is number one. That helps to clear some things up. If you guys are a little bit confused, I hope that helped. But anyways, this location, I love this location. You guys have probably seen it in a few of my videos, especially if you watched my cinematics that we have made in the past, you know for sure about this part. Now, this rat hole is one of my favorite rat holes of all time, as it's by far one of the hardest rat holes to raid. Now, it's the hardest rat hole to raid because if you look at it, it's practically floating right here. Now, there's, it's very tough to get up here. You really have to use a Quetzal or like a gas bags or really anything. I mean, it's tough to really get up here with like a rock golem or a stego or a turtle unless you like throw it up here. This rat hole is a little awkward to build in, but it's a perfect size and has some nice flat areas to really work with stuff. But you're going to have to build up, which that's the big issue. But all that matters is that you have enough defense on the front so that nobody gets in. Now here is the build. Now this 75 turret death wall is just completely outstanding to me. Now it may not look like much, but for a trio tribe, especially like a trio server, this is going to terrify everybody else. I mean, now I say that you can go ahead and laugh all you want until you have to face this thing. I mean, the interior is not so much like defended with the turrets, but the exterior is just pretty scary looking. Especially if you're, if you guys are online and you guys are defending the space, it's gonna be tough for the other player to raid. Now, anyways, coming through here, you have your grinder, you got your vault wall, your refrigerators, preserving bins, bed generator. Okay, I tried to say that quick, didn't work out too well. But anyways, you have everything that you really need. You got your grinder and then i decided to put everything up here so if you come upstairs the second layer you know i gotta make some of these bases look a little pve-ish so come up here you got your cry refrigerator a vault smithies fabricators chem benches and your indie forges and then you also have a backup vault out there for holding ingots or raw metal really whatever you want now i highly recommend this base for s plus as you can get stuff transferred up and down a lot easier but overall this is a great base location you can add other things in here and we left it open for you know, storing some tames or really whatever you want to do with it and add on. You can also fill the turrets like this, but that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.